So good morning everyone. Uh, so Simi and I will be getting into Spain today. I'm looking very much forward to it. It is a very cool 24 Celsius. It feels like winter <laughs> in comparison to yesterday. Uh, it's uh, about 9.30 in the morning and I'll be on my way along the east coast of Spain fairly soon. So um, this is officially the start of day two of my trip, over and out. Oh, and one more point, those who are Catholic, um, you will appreciate it. Here is my St. Christopher medal, properly blessed after mass and then put onto my scooter. That is my protection. So it's my first break. I've done 200 kilometers, I had to fill up some gas. And I want to show you something remarkable. Um, if you look right there, average uh, speed, 128 kilometers for the entire morning. Um, that's remarkable because the speed limit is 130 and this includes little toll booths and this includes little construction sites and sometimes dense traffic and still an average of 128 in my driving. Um, you don't get this in many other countries. Well, I have arrived at tonight's hotel. Um, what I thought was supposed to be a little fisher town. <laughs> It's actually a really big city and really old. Um, <clears throat> I'll figure out where I am later on, but it's uh, quite something. And again, finding the hotels continues to be a challenge. So this is the street I sort of came up on and turned around and and it goes around these narrow, narrow things. You, you can't get here by car. I don't know what uh, non-motorcyclists do and um, the only the only vehicles that can go through here are motorcycles so what a what a poor tourist does i have no idea um, but anyway there's the ocean back there um, it looks very very enchanting here and um, I will explore a little bit more later on tonight. And there's a bit of the ocean in the background. And here a very mysterious throughway. <laughs> um, so I have to wait. This is my hotel there, the blue uh, door. And um, I have to wait here for 10 minutes. I had to call for the hotelier to come. <laughs> Right. I'll keep you posted. Bye. So, this is my view from my very small balcony room. Um, I'm in Penny School, it turns out, I just found out. And um, you have two ocean views. One is there and then there's the sort of the official beach view right there with a nice sunset and all these very narrow streets. There's my scooter. This will likely keep me up at night. So I'm just sitting in a restaurant here and um, it is time to have my first Spanish Fanta. <laughs> I already tried a bit. It's very sweet, um, same as with the French one, same as with the Italian one. It seems that the further north you go, the less sweet a Fanta becomes. <laughs> very interesting. Well, this is really impressive. This is an old fortress and uh, from the 800s it turns out. So not Roman, sort of Charlemagne and <laughs> era <laughs> of sorts, even though this is Spain and uh, trying to find my way home <laughs> um, into my hotel. All I know is it's, it's on top of the hill. So as long as it goes uphill, I suppose I'll be okay. But this is really impressive here. And also still fairly lonely 
I suppose because of COVID, tourism hasn't really kicked off yet. So there it's going downhill. I know I need to go uphill, so I will try these stairs. Okay, this looks somewhat familiar. Very beautiful. Might be close now. I remember the one-way sign. And I remember the blue door. And my balcony. It's right this one. 